Hello there, my name is Kim Carver with Team Beachbody and I am excited to give you this quick walkthrough for new coaches on our coach office. In this training, we're going to cover five really simple topics that are going to be very applicable to you as a new coach. The first topic is going to be how to log into your coach office. Then we're going to go through how to navigate the coach office once we get in there. Then we're going to walk through how do you set up your coach websites. Then we're going to talk about how you set up direct deposits so you can get uh, your commissions and bonuses deposited directly into your bank account. And then I want to show you where to find your graphical genealogy. And hopefully with these five points, it'll help you orient yourself to your coach office. You can begin using it right away as a new coach. Okay, so the first thing we're going to cover is how to log into the coach office. Now this is really simple. All you need to do is open up a browser, go to coach.teambeachbody.com, and then enter in the email address and password that you gave to us when you set up your coach account. Now, for some reason you forgot what that password was or the email address that you used, you could click on the forgot password link there or just call our coach relations team. Okay, now the second thing we wanted to cover then was how do we navigate this coach office? Well, once we log into the coach office, this is what you see. This is your coach office right here. And there's a couple things I want to point out real quick. First, I want to start by talking about this big blue box in the middle of the screen. We call this My Dashboard. You navigate through My Dashboard by clicking through the different tabs that are available to you on the left. For example, on the Profile tab, it's got some key information about your coach account, like your name and your username, um, your, your qualification status, your paid rank, success qualification, and all these things as a new coach might seem a little new to you. Don't worry about it. The time will come very quickly when you understand what every one of those things mean and why they're important to you. And you really appreciate having a very quick access to that information here in the dashboard. In addition to your profile, we have information about your team, specifically the number of coaches that you have on your team as it continues to grow. That's always a fun number to look at. But more importantly to you right now as a new coach, it gives you the name and contact information of your sponsoring coach, as well as your upline diamond and star diamond coach. This is really important to make sure you've got contacts, uh, access to the contacts that you need to get supported as you get your coaching business started. All that information is right here for you. Uh, as we keep moving down, we're here, the, the Success Club tab is the next one. This displays all the current month's Success Club information. You might not know, again, what this means right now, but you will very shortly, and you'll appreciate having it right here so quickly and easily accessible to you. The next top down is the volume. Volume meaning sales volume from your organization. So as you start to help people and have coaches on your team help people as well, that generates sales volume. And that sales volume is what generates your commissions and your bonuses for you. And this is where you track that sales volume. Now, speaking of, speaking of earnings, the next tab down is your earnings. And this looks at your last commissions check, and it breaks it down by the source of the different payouts that you qualified for and how you arrived at, that, uh, at, the, at the amount that you had. And again, as we go through this, I should probably mention this at the beginning. But I'm using kind of a test account here that has some dummy data in place. So you can ignore the numbers that are there, uh, but at least gives you an idea for the feel and the flow uh, of the layout of the, of the, of the navigation. And the last one we have down here is our leadership ladder. The leadership ladder is a set of benchmarks that we provide to coaches to help them set goals to grow their business and earn a re rewarding income. You'll learn more about the leadership ladder the farther you go along as coaches. But the most important thing here is this is your dashboard. This is the first thing you see when you log in. Now, if you scroll below your dashboard, there's a couple areas I want to highlight real quick. First to the left here is your My Business Alerts. Now, these are shortcut hyperlinks to reports that display some very important information to you as a business owner, as a coach, uh, as your, especially as your business starts to grow. For example, right here, if you clicked on this hyperlink, it would take you to the report that would show you the orders that have been generated by your new customers. This one right here would actually show you which new customers you've had sign up, and so on and so forth. You can look through these different business alerts. Each one of these is a critical area, a key important area for your coaching business, and these shortcuts right from the front page take you to those reports to get you that information. Now, to the right of the My Business Alerts is the Coach Breaking News. Now, this is where you'll find the latest and greatest information pertaining to your coach business from Team Beachbody right here, front and center, easy to get to. When we talk about navigating the coach office, in addition to understanding the My Dashboard area and the My Business Alerts and the Coach Breaking News, to navigate through the entire site, you're going to use this navigation bar here across the top of the screen. 
as you can see as I'm highlighting through it. Each one of these different areas, these different tabs, will take you into a different part of the coach office. For example, if you go to the news tab, it will open up the sections of the coach office relating to news, like coach breaking news, as well as our national wake-up calls. It'll talk about the current month's promotions and even our coach monthly newsletter. It's designed to help you stay abreast and, and keep your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on with Team Beachbody. The next tab over is the Grow My Business tab. This is your marketing tab. It contains all the assets and tools that you need to market your business effectively, whether it's shareable assets like videos or social media postcards to help you promote your business online or challenge group tools to help you run an effective challenge group. This, this section right here is all about marketing. If you keep going across the side, the Monitor My Business tab, this is where all the reports are. All right, so the reports that, that will provide you with the key information, supporting your business, what's happening in your business. Again, if you think reports, think the Monitor My Business section. The Rewards and Recognition section contains information on the incentive programs that we've got for you as a coach, like Success Club or Elite and Premier. And it also gives us a chance to celebrate those coaches having great success through our leaderboards and other types of recognition components, all found here in the Rewards and Recognition section. The events section, again, this is probably pretty self-explanatory, but this is where you come and see, get an overview at least, of the great, incredible events that Team Beachbody puts on and how you can qualify to attend a lot of those events and where those events are being held. This is the, the, the place where you would go to look and see what Super Saturdays are coming up in there near, near, near where I live, or maybe how do I qualify to go on that success club trip. You could come here, you could look up those, that information and set your goals accordingly. As we keep going to the right here, the training tab. Now the training tab is a really critical area for you as a coach. What we've gone to great lengths to do is to collect and deliver to you the best practices of our most successful coaches in training format so that you can learn and develop the skills and competencies you'll need to be successful as a coach. As a brand new coach, I recommend that you get started right away with our getting started section. Now hopefully as a new coach, you've got to a welcome email from the company where you saw that welcome video from Jeff Hill where we walk through setting up some of your websites, um, which I'll talk about in just a minute. And, and that, that, whole, that whole piece is part of what we call our First 30 program. So if you click on the Getting Started tab, you'll see our First 30 program. This is really designed for new coaches just like you to help you get started correctly. It really breaks everything down from the first 30 minutes to the first 30 hours and the first 30 days of your coaching business. So this would be a great place to start when it comes to training. And of course, if you want to, come back and feel free to browse the rest of the trainings that are there. If you want to brush up on your skills on social media or maybe on, on effectively helping people get started with a challenge pack or a challenge group or whatever that happens to be. Look at the increasing your product knowledge about maybe Shakeology or Daily Sunshine or any of our performance products or how to build a, a better team or develop yourself better as a person. All those training assets and tools are available to you here in the training section. The last tab we have is our support tab. The purpose of this tab is to help you find the information you need most quickly. If you've got a question, this is the place you want to go. And if you can't find it here, there's always the contact us option. We're here to help you anytime you need it. Now, one more thing when it comes to navigation. I do want to point out up here in the top right-hand corner this little magnifying glass. This is kind of the universal symbol for search. And your coach office has a fully integrated search function. So let's say you've heard something or you remember learning something or reading something about I don't know, whatever, and you weren't sure where it was or you wanted to find more information about it, you could come here and, and look that up. For example, let's say as a new coach, you've heard a lot about Success Club. You're not quite sure what that is. So maybe you come here and you type in the word Success Club. Clicking enter, now the computer will go through your whole coach office and bring up all the relevant terms and things related to Success Club. And as you would scroll through here, maybe you go and you find, oh, this looks like something that would be describing what Success Club is. That's kind of what I'm looking for, so I would click on that. And boom, I'm taken to the part of the coach office that talks about Success Club, where I can learn about Success Club, and I can learn about the programs related to Success Club, like our Success Starters program, or even the Success Club trip. So that's our search function. Very, very important. Okay, so let's head back out now. So, so far, we've covered two of the five things we want to talk about. We've shown you how to log in, and we've just gone through a brief overview of the navigation of the office. I want to hit on three more things that are very specific actions that you should be doing right now as you get your business started. The first one is setting up your websites. It's very, very important you set up your websites as quickly as possible as a coach. 
Your websites are what you will share with people as they're looking for more information or to purchase that challenge pack or even enroll to become a coach. So setting up your websites is very, very important. To set up your websites, click on the Grow My Business tab and go over to where it says My Websites and Profile. Click on that. Now once you've done that, you're going to open up a wizard. Now we've made this really, really easy for you to do. I know maybe that idea of setting up a website sounds really intimidating. Well, in four steps, you will have fully functioning websites that you can use immediately to help you build your business. So to do that, just follow the wizard. This first step right here is going to give you a chance to upload that fo a photo of yourself. I would highly recommend uploading a photo of you because this is a picture that your people are going to see that uh, when, when, they, when you send them to your website, they're going to see this picture in the top left-hand corner of the screen along with the name that you've entered and any contact information you've entered on this screen right here. This will let them know that they've come to the right place, that they're at the right website and it will give them a way to reach out and contact you if they need to. Once you upload a profile photo and complete this information, go ahead and click next. Now, the second step in setting up your website is doing a quick about me section with a photo that can go along with that. All right. Now, the good news is here, as a brand new coach, maybe you're not quite sure what you want to say about yourself. We've got some default text in there for you that you can just leave as is, or feel free to personalize it, add something to it. And don't worry, if you ever want to edit it or change it, you can come back at any time and do that going through the same wizard. Once you have whatever you want to write in the About Me section and have uploaded a photo, go ahead and scroll down and go ahead and click on the Next button. Now, the third step in setting up your website is selecting which buttons you want to have displayed on your website. Now, these buttons are really call to action buttons, right? So let's go down and look at them real quick. We have, a, as you can see here, we have a shop button, a become a coach button, a try a free membership button, and a join Beachbody on demand button. And you can put these on your website or take them off simply by toggling between on and off. On puts them on your website. Off takes them off of your website. So read through the description of what each one of those buttons is for, select which ones you want on your website, and then go ahead and click next. Okay, the last step in setting up your website is just making sure it's connected to any social media profiles that you want to have on there. A lot of times people that will visit your website will want to learn a little bit more about you. And one of the ways that they'll do that is by checking you out on social media. It's also a great way for you to expand your network by referring people to those pages that you use most often to talk about who you are and what your business is all about. So go ahead and copy those URLs, put them in the appropriate boxes depending upon the social media platform you want to promote. And once you do that, go ahead and click publish to get your website online and ready to go. All right, once your website has been published, this is what will appear when you click on the manage my websites and profile. As you can see with just those four simple steps, you now have a site available in US English, US Spanish, a Canadian English, a Canadian French, and a UK English site. Right from here, you can go ahead and view those websites if you want to see what your customers are seeing. You can edit them and go through that same process, that same wizard that we just went through, or more importantly, you can copy the link. This is where you'll get that link that you can share out with prospective customers and coaches and redirect them to your site. And the best thing is, is when you do that, now they're connected to you. So any purchases that they make or any interactions they may do with the site are all connected to you as their coach. Okay, so let's go back out real quick. So, so far, we've done three of the five things. I've shown you how to log in. We've gone through some of the navigation features of the website, and I just showed you how to set up your websites. The next thing I want to show you real quick is how to set up direct deposit. To set up direct deposit, you're going to go to the Monitor My Business tab and go down to My EFT Management right here. Now, when you sign up as a new coach, the default payout method that we have for you is a physical check. So the commissions and bonuses that you earn will be paid to you in a physical check that is mailed to you. But a lot of coaches prefer to have direct deposit set up. So to do that, just click on the drop down menu right here. Click on US EFT if you're a US coach. If you're from a different country, it'll change us just a little bit. But then all you do is enter in your banking information. Okay. And then once you've done that, click update information and bam, your direct deposit is now set up. Okay, so let me go up to the front again. So now we've covered four things. We've talked about how to log in. I've shown you how to navigate the site. We've looked at how to set up your websites and we just showed you how to do direct deposit. The last thing I wanna show you is where your graphical genealogy is. Now, that might not make a ton of sense to you right now, but in English terms or in, play, in layman's terms, 
All this is, is it shows you how your business, as you begin to sponsor and help other coaches build their own businesses, how that structure is being built underneath you. This becomes important down the road as you look at placement changes and different strategic moves that you'll make as a business owner that you don't need to worry about right now, but I just want you to know where to look at it. So to find that, again, we go to the Monitor My Business section, and we go down to the Graphical Genealogy link. Go ahead and click on that. Now, when this comes up, again, this is a test account with just some dummy data in here. But you, what, the thing I want you to pay attention to is as um, when you log in, the first thing that you'll see is you at the very top. And then beneath you are the coaches that you've started to enroll in your organization. By default, how this will work is when your first coach enrolls, they're put on your left leg. When your second coach enrolls, they're put on your right leg. Subsequent coaches, what the computer does, is it looks at which one of those two legs, left or right, has the least amount of volume. Whichever one has the least amount of volume, it's placed on the outside of that leg again. And again, I know I'm probably for, for those since you're new, you're probably thinking, what is he talking about? But all this will make sense to you as you continue to go. The biggest thing I want you to know is that this is where you can come as you have new coaches enroll and you can see them being placed in your organization. You can see where they're at and you can click on their name to find out details about each one of those individuals. For example, if I scroll down here, I can click on them and find out details about them all simply right right from the graphical genealogy. Okay, so that's it everybody. I hope this was helpful to all of you. Hopefully this little coach walk, this walk through our coach office um, has made you feel a little more confident to use it. It's a powerful tool. It's an important tool and a necessary tool for you as a coach to succeed and to, to really get the very most out of your business. So welcome to Team Beachbody. We love having you here and we can't wait to see more of you. Bye now.